configuration things are over okay then next one is we need to test it okay whether we have done correct configurations or not if we face any errors we will uh, try to see the things and all there is no issue okay but the thing is that when you are creating the purchase order that is not your activity when you are entering the goods receipt that is your not activity and when you are creating the invoice verification that is not your activity but the thing is that when you are giving the user acceptance training to the particular um, uh, end users and all okay they will just raise the questions okay if you are not able to answer those questions automatically they will consider your profile i mean those managers consider your profile as a fake profile okay so who, who has taken this profile and all they will just re, uh, do the background verifications and all see some of the things will happen that is why we sh you should uh, i mean you do have much knowledge on the subject then only you can able to manage in the real time otherwise you cannot okay now can you go to the tra uh, transaction code me21n ma'am we will try to test the each and everything and if we face the errors we can able to do it no issue creation of purchase order go to the uh, sap system ma'am and try to create the purchase order me21n me21n me 21 n okay right so uh, take out no 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 first take out the vendor first you should uh, enter the vendor right take out the vendor first hmm Click on the enter, ma'am. Mm. Give your purchasing organization and purchasing group and company code. Purchasing organization, purchasing group and company code. Yes, click on the enter, ma'am. Now it should be in a green mode status. Okay, so then next one. Can you take out the item? Any item, ma'am, that is your choice. Take out the item as 10 and take out the material. Yes, and go to the drop down option. And if you can't remember the material channel, go to the uh, document number. You can able to do it. And go to the document. Uh, mm, take out the material creation number. Creation material is 1248. No, no, no. First, go to the drop down option. Try to find out with that material number. Okay, if this is there, we can able to take it. If it is not there, we should extend that material. Okay, go to the uh, one two four eight. Mm, take out that material. That is still. So every time you should verify the things. Okay, otherwise we cannot. Okay, so automatically it will come. Ma'am, you no need to tick mark on anything. Um, yes, give the short description. Give the short description as Tata Steel. And how much quantity? So how much quantity for this purchase order? How much the organization is uh, uh, requiring the material? OK, so that is uh, PO quantity is 10 quantity. 10 quantity, no, 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 10 quantity. Standard price is different, right? So delivery date, so 15.07.2023, same delivery date. So if you give the delivery date, uh, in your vendor master records in two days or three days or five days based on that thing only you can able to give it here delivery date so i didn't give anything in that vendor master records okay uh, so that is why i am just taking the this date only i mean present date only 1507 what is the net price okay what is the net price that you have taken 10000 rupees right take out the 10000 rupees yes and uh, and take out the material group ma'am take out the material group
the material group will be steel steel yes take out that material group and take out the plant now first go to the drop down option no no, no. don't uh, try to give manually try go to the drop down option and select it first so our plant is there or not yes if it is there try to take it if it is not there okay we will going to face the errors that is important thing and take out the storage location also take out the storage location if it is there then only take if it is not then don't take it okay we will face the errors okay automatically we will just try to uh, i mean see the configurations there is no issue right or else go to the find out option ma'am try with this uh, dupl try with this uh, dupl no issue It is not there, huh? Hmm, down, come on. Storage location is DUSL, right? Go up. Up. Okay, you do one thing. Remove this thing directly. You can can give it mom dusl directly you can give it no worries mm. no need to take anything parameters and all request is customers and numbers that is not at all important can you click on the enter mom click on the enter delivery date Next working date is 1707. Okay, click on the enter row issue. Okay, so material group will be 00101. Okay, vendor material number we don't give it, just we just give the material numbers. Okay, then you can just go to the conditions, ma'am. If if the conditions are very, very important, okay, for each and every vendor, conditions may change okay so in that condition tab so we have uh, taken the net price okay so total will be uh, i think so 10 quantity into 10000 is equal to uh, 1 lakh rupee right so for that thing we will going to add the freight charges also okay so go to the freight charge uh, double uh, sorry go to this drop down option one we will try to add the freight charges that is condition type Okay, uh, where is the condition type? You don't have any condition types. Okay, okay. Okay, no issue, ma'am. So in this uh, sales order condition, I mean sales and distributions and all, we can able to create the condition type. You don't worry. Okay, we will try to create the condition type. And again, we will come back to these configurations. We will try to create the purchase orders and we will try to assign the freight charges clearing seconds. Okay, so for this thing, so we don't have any conditions, right? So I mean, in sales and distribution, we can able to create the conditions. There is no issue. Don't worry. I will I will try to show you the entries also in for the freight charges, conditions, types, and all. Okay, but don't worry. So this is the way you can able to try to take out the vendors uh, conditions, records, and all. Okay, cross price will be there. Delivery charges will be there. Uh, automatically price differences will be there. I mean, if you change the uh, quantity of the prices and all. Okay, so try to see the details and all. Go up, go to the check option, ma'am. So if you are facing any error, uh, check check option, right side. So 
so if this document is okay okay no messages issued during check okay so you can just go to the save button and save it so we are creating one purchase order okay all, all of you i am uh, we are not creating manually we are just creating in an automatic way okay so it is compiling and data is compiling and it will going to create the purchase order that is very very important okay in sap system in sap s4 hana is also same okay so the standard purchase orders has been created take out this standard purchase order ma'am and go go to that word document and paste it so successfully see all of you any entries are not generating please try to understand the point okay entries are not generated please try to understand the point in this particular thing okay so those things are mandatory first of all you got my point and then next one in this uh, goods receipt only accounts the accounts entries will be generated can you give slash and ma'am Give slash in. Go to that uh, what document, ma'am? What is the next entry? What is the next entry that we have? In some of these systems, they will get the freight charges, condition types, and all. There is no issue. Okay. And some of the systems, they will not going to add the condition types and all. No issue. We will going to try to create in all these things in sales and distributions. Okay. And the next one is enter goods receipt using transaction code MIGO. Can you go to the transaction code MIGO? Can you go to the transaction code MIGO? Go to the transaction code MIGO. Go to the transaction code MIGO. Okay, so based on the goods received, based on the purchase order. So what is the purchase order? Automatically it will come, right? So take out the purchase order, ma'am. <clears throat> Get the purchase order. Or else go to the word document and try to paste it. Mm. Click on the enter, ma'am. Uh, automatically, whatever the items that we have taken, all these will coming into the picture. See, you can just see all of you. Tata Steel quantity is ten, and movement type. What is the movement type? One zero one goods received. Okay, all these movement types they will going to ask you. Good receipt movement type is one zero one. Okay, so try to understand the point, and we need to update the quantity in delivery note. Okay, so try to update the quantity in delivery note, ma'am. Come down. So there is a uh, quantity in delivery note that is ten. That is ten. And then next one is PC. Next one is PC. That is pieces only, right? Ten pieces only, right? And uh, just tick mark on the item, okay? Tick mark on the item, okay? <laughs> tick mark on the item, okay? Okay? So click on the enter, ma'am. If the item is okay, then only we can able to see the details. Okay? So now it is in okay mode. Go to the check option. Don't post it. Just go to the check option. We will try to see the errors. Okay, so material one two four eight D U P L D U S L doesn't exist. Now. Material uh, remove this thing, ma'am. Yes, I got the thing. I think so. We have not extended that material. What we need to do is. Yes, ma'am. Can you give slash and ma'am? Uh, 
Uh, Ma'am, can you go to the transaction code MM01? Everything is perfect, right? In the MM01. Ma'am, we should try to take out the material. Okay, this material should be created with the, uh, and material has been, uh, I mean, material should be extended to the, uh, the condition. Okay, you do one thing, ma'am. Come back, one step back. Go to that. Uh, it really is not existed. Okay, go to that uh, MM01 transaction code, ma'am. Ma'am, can you take out this uh, material? Copy from material is 1248. Copy from material is 128. Uh, click on the enter, ma'am. Mm, take out basic data 1, basic data 2, and purchasing general plan data 1, general plan data 2. I think so, it is not extended. So that is why it is uh, accounting tab 1, accounting tab 2. Mm, continue, ma'am. Uh, continue, ma'am. No, no, no. Uh, give the plant and give the storage location to you. Uh, SLR. Hmm. Continue, ma'am. Plant DUPL. Plant is DUPL. Hmm. Continue, ma'am. Okay, can you go to the save button and save it, ma'am? Okay, this material is created. And uh, go to the transaction code MM02, ma'am. Go to the transaction code MM02. Click on the enter, ma'am. Basic data one, basic data two. Take out that one and continue. Hmm. Go to the save button and save it. Everything is perfect. Now you can just go to the transaction code MIGO, ma'am. Migo. Take out the purchase order, ma'am. Same purchase order. Hmm. Continue and take out the quantity in delivery note 10 and uh, PC. Yes. And go to the item OK. Click on the enter. Now check it. Material doesn't exist. OK. Hmm. Remove this thing, ma'am. Uh, remove this thing. Yeah, I got it, but it is not extended. So remove this thing. Give slash in and go to the transaction code MM01. Give slash in. And take out the material, ma'am. Take out the material 1248. 1248. 
click on the enter no issue one two four eight only here only copy from is one two four eight no issue and we need to take out the copy also Mm, basic data one, basic data two. Purchasing and accounting tab one and accounting tab two. Mm, continue. And, uh, remove the plant and remove the storage location and give the plant and storage location. Okay, this material uh, will be extended and go, go to the save button and save it now. Now we will go to see it. Go to the save button and save it. Mm, okay, so give slash and now. And now uh, in goods receipt, we can able to see it. Migo, M-I-G-O. M-I-G-O. Mm. Take out the purchase order, ma'am. Click on the enter and give the quantity in, in delivery note, ma'am. In PC, click on the enter. Now take out the OK and check. Now check. Now we will go into see. So this document is OK, all of you. Now uh, the main important thing is that we have to check with this material uh, master records and all. If the document is OK, OK, there is no issue. Go to the post button, ma'am. Go to the post button and uh, see all of you. We should check with the uh, documents, uh, uh, things and all. For object number range interval, 50 doesn't exist. OK, so this thing 50 is doesn't exist. OK, go to the transaction. Give slash in, ma'am. Give slash in. Go to the transaction code FB N1. If the item is OK, there is no issue. And if you want to post the document and the system is showing the error, 50 number range is not there in our interval. What is the last uh, number range that you have taken? Mm -hmm. 3001 to 4000. 4, mm -hmm. Click on the enter, go to the save button and save it. Give slash and no? and I will going to show you OBA7. Go to the transaction code OBA7 now. OBA7, yes. And, and uh, can you come down, ma'am? Down. Uh, wait for one minute, ma'am. Double click on this RV, ma'am. Building document transfer. Okay. Come back, ma'am. This is the zero one number range. Come back. And double click on this uh, RE, ma'am. Cross invoice receipt. 51. Come back. This is for the material. Goods receipt. W E. Double click on this goods receipt, ma'am. That is W E. <coughs> Yes, this is the 50 number range. Go to the number range information. That should be there in our company code. OK, take out the company code and go to the added intervals. OK, so 50 number range is there. Now we will go into a C. OK, give slash and go to the transaction code me go. Mm. Now uh, take out the purchase order. Ma take out the purchase order. Enter and uh, give the quantity. And PC item is OK. <coughs> Manually, we have to do it, all of you. Check it. If, if the document is OK, then post it. Post those doc document. OK. 
and there are no errors take out this material document ma'am to uh, 0004 goods receipt is 2004 then next one can you come down ma'am what is the invoice receipt we have to enter the invoice receipt using transaction code miro go to the transaction code miro ma'am go to the transaction code miro m i r o okay see all of you i am not uh, posting every 60 invoice i am just taking the uh, this invoice receipt that is uh, miro transaction code okay just observe the points and uh, don't neglect it okay so those things are mandatory first of all if you don't uh, give each and every invoice details and all how you can able to do it those things are mandatory right good so give the invoice date ma'am see automatically one day input tax will coming into the picture you got my point give the invoice date 15.07.2022 no 23 and don't give any amount automatically it will take it okay we are not going to give any amount give the text as give the text as buying raw material from vendor buying raw material from vendor okay so in the purchase organization schedules things and all okay and take out this purchase order ma'am here uh, uh, that is the purchase order take out the purchase order hmm. click on the enter no issue automatically all will coming into the picture in company code the number is 51 is missing okay i have already told you about the goods invoice receipt verifications and all go to the fbn1 transaction code ma'am hmm. and give the company code go to the intervals and uh, go to the interval and 51 is the number range 2023 2023 no 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 2023 give the year 2023 and give the free intervals 4001 to 5000 click on the enter go to the save button and save it and now go to the oba7 transaction code go to the oba7 transaction code try to check whether this number range is assigned to this particular document or not based on our company code mm. can you come down mm. goods invoice receipt gross invoice receipt no 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 goods invoice receipt come back mm. gross invoice receipt r e mm. Mm. go to that number range information go to that number range information and that should be there in our company code okay intervals yes 51 is there give slash n and go to the transaction code miro mm, go to that screen ma'am and give slash n okay right so uh, all these coming into the picture okay so that one is very very important all of you so there is a messages what is the message one like is the amount what is the message take out the message ma'am so no delivery cost is uh, selected okay there is no any planned delivery items and all so that is why maintain tolerance limits okay and uh, maintain tolerance limit ma'am and uh, balance not zero okay and remove this thing no issue uh, we will just uh, try to do the uh, things okay go to the ob57 transaction code ma'am and try to uh, assign the uh, tolerance ob57 and remove this sap user and just give the dur1 click on the enter go to the save button and save it. see every time you will face the errors all of you okay in real time you will not going to face it why because these are the um, demo servers uh, users right so that is why you are facing that error but rare in real time rare uh, things only you can able to get the errors okay go to the uh, uh that one is okay okay right uh, go to the uh, miro transaction code ma'am miro mm. take out the invoice date uh take out the text ma'am here it is asking so we haven't uh, uh, given the delivery costs okay at the time of uh, uh, creation of purchase orders okay so now 
in this thing uh, line item level goods service items plus plant delivery cost is there right uh, open that thing drop down option only goods services items take out only goods services items i will show you tomorrow we have the sessions and all will come right so today is the uh, so they haven't attended the class so uh, another system i'm going to show you don't worry and take out this purchase order ma'am take out this purchase order yes now what is the calculate tax ma'am tick mark on calculate tax yes yes i got it and tick mark on calculate tax mm. click on the enter so you just give the 1,4,000 rupees just give the 1,4,000 rupees with the help of taxes amounts we just give the 1,4,000 rupees okay click on the enter ma'am now it is in a green color mark or mode only right can you go to the simulate option ma'am can you go to the simulate option see see there is a input tax goods receipt or invoice receipt account uh, thing is there that is data or and uh, uh, what is that thing uh, shiva shakti steals that is vendor is credit or okay and this is the thing that we have for the invoice receipt and things okay can you remove this thing ma'am or is can you go to the post option here uh, come down there is a post option do it or else remove this thing back, back. it is just showing purposes only uh, and go to the same thing and save it you got my point all of you document still contains messages so I'll go to the messages now no taxes or sales or purchases account one double zero five zero five du r1 okay remove this thing ma'am and give slash n and go to the fs double zero transaction code FS double zero transaction code. We haven't entered uh, uh, the taxes for the raw material things. I think so. FS double zero transaction code. Hmm. Give the tax category, ma'am. That is one D. And go to the submit and save it. GRI IR clearings also we have to give it. Hmm. Continue. Yes, go to the transaction code Miro. Calculate tax. Yes, text. Buying raw material from vendor. See, we have a lot of options on a few goods, services, items, plus plan delivery cost. Only plan delivery cost we, we can post it and the plan delivery cost with the goods receipt to services items we can able to post it. There is no issue. Okay, so give the amount ma'am one lakh four thousand rupees. Click on the enter. Go to the simulate option ma'am. Yes, come back and go to the save button and save it. So this is the way we can able to do all these things in real time. All of you. Okay, go to the messages ma'am once again. It is uh, still showing the message two double zero one zero four. Uh, go to that uh, give slash and mum. Field text is required. Uh, uh, okay. Two double zero one zero four. Okay, okay. Mm, can you drag it to the right side, mum? Here, line item level. Drag it to the right side. Okay, and go to the GL account, ma'am. No, no, no. Go to the GL account. Here, GL account tab. PO references, GL account tab. Mm. I mean, GL account automatically it will going to pop up. There is no issue. But the thing is that. Okay, right. You do one thing, ma'am. Can you give slash in? Can you give slash in? And go to the transaction code FS00, ma'am. FS double zero two double zero one zero four is for the input CGST. Okay, right. And uh, edit, ma'am, edit Z double zero one, right? And uh, give slash in, ma'am, give slash in and go to the tra 
transaction for OBC4. OBC4. Uh, and try to find out your uh, field status variant now. Field status variant. DUR1, I think so. Uh, FSVD, yes. Field status. Double click on Z001 now. General data. General data. And text is in a required field and just put it in optional entry. Uh, go to the save it and save it. Mm, give slash and one. Yes, go to the Miro and give the inverse date. Yes, give backspace automatically, it will come. Mm. Enter. Okay, right. Simulate. And come back. Mm, come back now. Still, it is showing the message. Field business area is required field two double zero one zero four. Okay. And give slash and now. Or else go to the new new session. Yes. OBC four. No, no, no. General data only you can able to find out the business areas. Uh, no, no, no. Put in an optional entry. Yes, yes. In the additional records only put in an optional entry. Mm. Go to the save it and save it. Come back to this uh, thing, ma'am. Mm. Click on the enter. Simulate. Mm. Come back. Back. And go to the message man. Mm. No, no worries. Give slash in. Go to the Miro once again. Give fashion now. Go to the mirror. Business area is required field. Again, it is asking. Go to the transaction code. Two double zero one zero four. Now change it and go to that create or bank interest. Double click on Z double zero one. Mm, go to the business theory is an optional entry. Input CGST, input SGST 40-50, right? Okay, go to the transaction code OB41, ma'am. Go to the transaction code OB41. Mm. Go to the 40, 40 posting key. Go to the maintain field status. Double click on additional account assignments. Mm, business area should be in an optional entry. Optional entry. Yes, give it to the optional entry. Go to the seven and save it. Mm. Now post the meal.
Now go to the simulate option and go to the save button and save it. Now there is no, uh, I mean errors, right? Now save it. So this document has been saved. Take out this document number, ma'am, and go to the FBL 1N. Take out this document number and try to uh, paste it in your Word document. 5105608738873 yeah invoice verification is over okay right. okay so then next go to the transaction code fbl1 and one and try to check with this thing and what is the document type that we have posted okay fbl1 and hmm. go to the uh, execute option ma'am see all of you the document type is re okay invoice verification gross invoice verification okay so ha ma'am ियर we need to clear with the f-53 transaction code and also automatic payment program if you have huge invoices okay we can able to give it if you have normal i mean 10 invoices or 5 invoices or 20 invoices and all we can able to do it manually okay that is your own choices okay give slash and mum go to the transaction for f-53 Give one lakh four thousand rupees amount, ma'am. So this is the way you can able to clear this thing. Go to the uh, simulate document simulate option, ma'am. Yes. Go to the save button and save it. Okay, so this document has been posted and go to that uh, FBL uh, uh, one and mum and try to see the things. Okay.
okay so this is the way you can able to for that document we have cleared the thing okay right so this is the way you can able to do it all of you in real time only okay end users will uh, create a purchase orders automatically uh, based on the purchase orders all will coming into the picture and after that they will clear the documents see huge invoices will be involved right so every time we cannot uh, uh, maintain the main records right i mean manual records we cannot maintain it right everything should be in a automated way okay so uh, i mean based on that thing only we can able to post lakhs of invoices okay so this is the way you can able to test the fi to mm integrations and configurations and all it took 3 hours of time for us to complete the things and all okay